The eggs may not fertilize uh, in IVF. Uh, if they're not mature eggs, we can have uh, eggs that are very, very immature. We could have eggs that are just the stage before complete maturation. Uh, or we can have very, very poor quality eggs um, or even degenerate eggs, which is that uh, unfortunately they are not viable eggs. These can be uh, some of the reasons why eggs don't fertilize in IVF, as mentioned. Also, because through the IVF process, we don't separate the eggs from the cushion of uh, cells that is around them. It is very difficult for us to assess in IVF if the egg is mature or not. All the eggs that are collected are put in a dish with the right amount of the sperm to fertilize it. And it's the sperm that does the hard work to, to make its way through the egg. The next day when we check in the lab, we check the, uh, the fertilization, we can see whether we have got mature eggs, immature eggs, good quality, poor quality, or even degenerated eggs. Um, the other reason that uh, the eggs may not fertilize is if the shell around the egg uh, uh, could be very hard, uh, which is we call this zona, and uh, it can be a hard zona a situation where the sperm would find it very difficult to to break that shell and enter in order to fertilize the egg. Um, if we find that uh, sometimes it is visible under the microscope that the shell or the zona is quite thick uh, and therefore we know that that thick zona next time we would need to actually use a process called uh, exit so, so the ICSI would, would hopefully help with the fertilization rate the next time around. Sometimes there's not enough binding. Um, the sperm and egg just don't attract each other. And if there is no binding between the sperm and the egg, uh, and we can uh, see that under the microscope from, from the number of sperm that is attached to the zona, uh, trying to get inside, because in a natural process of fertilization, many sperm gather around the egg, they try to penetrate the zona, and if the egg is good quality, uh, it would only allow one sperm to enter it, and then the zona gets hardened and won't allow the entry of any other sperm. So um, if we have low fertilization as a result of IVF, we look at, is there a, a good binding between the two? Uh, has the sperm survived well? Because that's another factor. Has the sperm survived well? within that, uh, uh, those hours that they are, the egg and the sperm are left together because sometimes if the sperm cannot swim well enough to get it, uh, itself to, this, to, this, uh, to the egg, it could be that there is a sperm issue, that there has been low fertilization. But in general, so it depends whether the quality of the egg is good, whether it is mature, whether there is a binding, whether there is a problem with the, with the shell around the egg, or whether there is, a, uh, there is an issue uh, with a sperm penetrating, more than one sperm penetrating into the egg, which causes abnormal fertilization.